pushing, pinching, squeezing, restraining the victim. It often begins what is excused as a trivial act, or oh, as nothing, something minor, but it escalates into more frequent and serious attacks. Another form, psychological and mental, jokes, insults, minimizing feelings, belittling, ignoring, basically putting a person down. A so much, and listen, uh, just to touch on that, we've got a newsletter that's gonna be presented to the community of District 44, of all of the legislations that have passed, even local bills that we introduced as a state legislators. I had three, all of my bills were signed by the governor. I was very fortunate to be able to uh, get him to sign those bills. To assess what your situation is, you got to look at who your people are, you got to make sure that the people around you have that same caring for children. Because it can't be about politics, it can't be about making money, that's for sure. It has to be that every one of our children gets the opportunity to have a quality education and to, and to fulfill their potential. I just believe if we don't do that, we're not... Okay, well, you gonna fix it and get it together? So we never know what Lil James is going to say or what Lil James is going to do. Is that right? Okay. That's your mama. And that's not your day mama. Not your day. What? My name is Joe. What's your name? Ah, got you. This is Joe the Morning Joe. You can no, speak your mind on my show. Stop speak your mind. calling people baby daddies. Come on. It's not a title. What are they? And it's not a role. What are they? It's your child's father. Come on, that's your child's because father. Because father imports a level of responsibility and accountability. Come on. That baby daddies don't have. That's very true. The baby daddy we use as a derogatory dismissive term. People and for the people. We are KFXC Z1059 Appaloosa, Lafayette, a Delta Media Station. Well, family, I told you it was going down. Uh, guess who I got on the line? Uh, you know him from the Arsenio Hall show. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you, he's coming, making his way to Evangeline Downs uh, Casino Racetrack Event Center. It's Arsenio Hall. Yo, Arsenio, what's happening, my brother? I'm hanging, man. I've been up for two hours trying to learn to say Opelousas. <laughs> <laughs> man, listen, hey, you told me you went to the Dodgers game. Did the Dodgers win or lose? That's what I want to know. They lost, man. It was it, it was rough because they lost in like one of them stupid ways where the coach says, "Hey, Kemp, put your hand on the base." Oh, you're out. You know, it was like, <laughs> like some stupid basic little league stuff we lost last night. You know. Family, we're about to get into this conversation. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. It's the Joe Dupree Morning Show. Information, inspiration, motivation in the morning right here on Z. Here we go. Z1059. Z1059.com. Sometimes you just got to make it out alive. It's the Joe Dupree Morning Show. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We are on your radio. EJ Tyler, yours truly, Joe Dupree. Val Senegal in the building from the Hearts of Hope. And family... We got to get into some real serious conversation. We do. With the recent arrest that we've had, Joe, you know, we have had a lot of parents panicking so, in our so community. So talk about this because some folks might not be abreast of what's really going on. So what's happening here? So what we have um, are a few arrests regarding child pornography. Mm -hmm. We've had arrests regarding human trafficking of mm -hmm. uh, young children being mm -hmm. lured from their homes. Come on. And we also have some sexual violence cases right now where it's... Uh, coaches, teachers, or having sexual relations with students. Come on, because that's all in the news right now. Yes. All in the news. It's in the news, and like I always... 